Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, we're here in the parking garage of the, uh, the Defense Ministry of Georgia. Things are getting complicated. We need to get up to the south wing so we can deactivate that infamous laser grid, so we can sneak outside and listen in on, uh, Grinko's conversation. Before I do that, Shout out to Quarter Life Crises, who says that big star in a circle painted on the walls in the Eastern European setting reminds me of the symbol on the Winter Soldier's arm. Maybe it's Hydra behind the whole thing. <laughs> oh god, that's the last thing I need. Because they probably have someone inside Third Echelon. It's kind of their signature move. Quarter Life Crises also left a comment saying, Nosy civilians are the worst. There's just been a coup in their country, and the police force are basically thugs. You'd think they'd have all learned to shut their mouths and look the other way if there's any unusual activity. And uh, KOR had a comment specifically regarding my complaint about how the guards immediately go to alert phase and don't go to investigate stuff. And I actually like this observation. It's like they're doing what security guards, employed by ultra-paranoid bad guy types anyway, are supposed to do. Unfortunately, it makes for a terrible game experience, because reality is not a game. Oh, yes! And I forgot it. I wanted- I forgot it. I forgot. I wanted to share a thing with you guys. Okay, so last time, I, uh, looked up the flag of Georgia, and this is what I found. White rectangle... Red cross in the middle, four red crosses in the quadrants. And, uh, so I just came back and naturally said, no, that flag that's in the game is not the flag of Georgia. Except I didn't dig deep enough, it turns out. I mean, it was just a quick thing between videos, but there was more of an answer to that. You see, at the time this game was made, this was the flag of Georgia, which is pretty much the one we saw in the game, except that it's wine red instead of purple. In fact, shout out to Elthwar, who says, I looked up the flag, you found it around timestamp as well. It looks similar to the Georgia's flag from 1991 to 2004, though that was more red than purplish. It could be a lighting issue that messed with it, since it is a dark red. Sort of funny that the game ended up set in the last year that flag was used. So yes, I stand corrected. That was a Georgian flag, although I still, although I can still say very safely, since you know the quadrant is up in the upper left, that the flags on the outside of the defense ministry were in fact upside down. Very strange. So yes, before we get uh, deeper into this, I did want to give one more shout out to Elthwar, who says, with all that high tech gear, perhaps Sam should have gotten something to divert attention, you know, to keep civilians from noticing him when on missions. Regardless, I am sort of curious about what the Georgian president's plan is, because antagonizing the U.S. directly in 2004 sounds like a very risky plan. Yeah, I was wondering that myself. It really seems like it's building up to uh, Nikoladze declaring war on the U.S. But what the fuck would that even accomplish? He'd get bombed into the Stone Age. Uh, though this is around the time Tom Clancy was still shopping around for new stalwart enemy for his techno thrillers, so I guess it's not that much more out there than the time he had several Japanese companies start the Second Pacific War in the Jack Ryan series. A lot of military writers spent the 90s confused with the lack of the Soviet Union as a powerhouse that could match them, and the war on terror technology was too lopsided for the techno-thriller hunts that Clancy liked, or the enemy had developed some amazing new technologies to be central to the plot. I might have read this one before. My apologies. Although Derek Floyd did add the new comment, techno-thriller antagonists were definitely easier to write during the Cold War. The Cold War? No. Um, yeah. But I am, in fact, uh, faffing around now. So I'm just gonna get moving. Yes, in a, in a stairwell. I guess I just kept going up. I do like how much noise the cameras make. I appreciate that, given that I don't have a mini-map or anything. 
does that say? Back end browser. They must have scanned some magazine they had lying around in the office. Also, the left side of it is cropped off, so I can't actually tell what the title is supposed to be. Something placation. I don't know. It's really low res. Is the is, I mean, is the bigger issue? Hello, fake plant. I assume it's fake because it's doing quite well, and it's here in the middle of the corridor. There I am. I don't see anyone. There are VHS tapes on the floor. That's weird. Oh! Oh, that sucks. The door doesn't open all the way when I do door peek. This is a thick-ass, uh, passageway. Oh! I don't know where it... Fuck me! It's right over the door! I would have walked in and it would definitely have gotten a good shot of my back. I didn't hear the spark, but it did stop moving. That's a blueprint for some kind of rocket. I can't tell. I certainly don't know enough to know whether that's a vessel or a missile. Another flat screen. model plane. If Star Trek has taught me anything, it's that that's the plane that the person assigned to this office had before they, uh, was the captain of before they got this job. Oh, the fan is rattling. Huh. Those are VHS tapes. I was expecting there to be some other explanation. Huh. I mean, I'm not surprised they're using VHS tapes, it's 2004, as seen through 2002, but I am kind of surprised they're just randomly lying on the floor and I haven't messed this room up yet. Let's not shoot the door. Oh, it's a balcony. It's a locked door to a balcony. Actually... No, there's no light switch. Oh, there is a light switch over there! That'll give me a second to react, at least, if someone walks in. I guess the idea behind the other thing is if it's like a really tight timing thing. Like, uh, if... It's, oh, the camera will swing back this way and a guard will walk in this direction in five seconds. I need to activate the, like lock boring thing and get back to the shadows. Oh, cutscene. Ah, somebody needed a smoke. I need a kernel down here. We're trying to get through a retinal scanner. I passed Colonel Kibashvili on my patrol. Want me to send him down? God, no. I hate this guy. We'll find somebody else with the lamp. So I need to find a colonel and scan his eyes to get into whatever that... Oh. Oh! Right! So I was really confused to see that sprinkler down there, because with the, uh, the night vision goggles on and everything in black and white, I forgot that I wasn't looking at a parking lot, thanks to the long, even stripes. <laughs> no, that's a lawn, all right. How am I supposed to get over there? Do I just jump into this and, like, hand over hand? I mean, I can try that. I don't know that this is a good idea. No, that was a bad idea. I forgot I was going slowly again. Oh, and I died, so... F8. Okay... Is I clearly need to get to that window where that guy had been smoking. 
But there's no balcony in front of it. And, like, maybe this pipe? Actually, I can't see for shit. Ah! It was the pipe. So I thought it was that pipe down there. This is gonna be real, real unsubtle. <laughs> oh man! In my defense, I thought he was going to grab the other one as he passed it. Only kernels can open retinal scanner locked doors. Thank you, Tidbit. Eaves! That's the word I was trying to think of. It's an eaves. Oh, shit. Infiltrate the... Oh, I successfully infiltrated the south wing. Hooray. Oh, fuck! I thought the kitchen was closed. It's a special order for Colonel Kobayashvili. Ah, excellent. May I? Please. <laughs> oh. Thanks. Thank you. Please. So I guess that guy in the radio wasn't the only one who hates that guy's guts, huh? Okay, they're just civilians. But they are capable of running off, and, uh... Okay, uh, do I need to get out that door? Because this is probably a dead end over here. Uh, unless I can jump through that vent in the wall, I doubt it very much. Come on, I didn't hear that! Alright, uh... So if I don't go in there... I mean, he's gonna hear me if I grab the guy right next to the other guy, right? Right, okay, so he's gonna hit the thing, everything goes to the, uh... Goes to shit. And I can't reliably kill them, is the thing. Like, I can think of games where I could just pop-pop and both of them would be dead, but... Here I can line up the reticle perfectly and not be sure I'm going to hit any fucking thing at all. Oh. Maybe that is the trick. Uh, he'll hear me if I grab the guy right beside him. And I'll just hug this wall. Actually, no. First, I'm going to... What's that? Oh, I guess he saw me. Shit! I thought I was being clever there. I was going to lure one of them away. Maybe the trick isn't to, like, get behind him and grab him. Maybe it's just a fucking... Knock him out. Think? Yeah, I think that light also has a grate over it, but I'm not sure. Who did that? Who did that? Damn it! Fuck! Okay, light switch is in here. Uh, not seeing any. Fuck! Right, right, right. It's right in front of them. Perfect. 
What if I just knock him out? Instead of taking the time to grab him. I don't understand. I kind of didn't think that was going to work. I can see absolutely nothing right now. I couldn't tell which way I was facing there. I thought I was looking at the light on Sam's back. I forgot there's a dude on top of it. Okay, so both of these civilians are still alive. I mean, he's going to be awfully chilly when he wakes up. But he's going to be alive. See, if this is a very clever game, then uh, I'd, ha I'd have a limited time before those eggs started burning and the smoke alerted somewhere. Nighty-night! Like, genuinely, it might be a good idea for Sam to, uh, hide the- to take these things off the burners before, uh, he leaves. Kinda surprised he doesn't use a knife, as I think about it. I hear hella footsteps right here. I do not trust this room. Definitely a guy in that direction. Oh, it's fucking dark in here. Of course it is. It's closed for the day. Special order for the colonel. Um. I heard something. You're right. Damn it. But. pitch black. Maybe I can just stand here. Shh. I don't suppose you're a colonel, are you? No, I don't have any inter interrogate or anything, so... Good night! Where do they only get freak out if they hear my footsteps, huh? Guess what? You get to join the chefs in the freezer! Four. I wonder if the Odier Diner is open. All the coffee pots reminded me. There was a lot of coffee in Alan Wake, too. Okay. I guess what I have to trust is that even if they're looking straight at me, they won't be able to see me in the dark. That's the part I was having trouble with. That's why I was always hiding too far away to grab them, I think. What does this say? Chin Cola. For just a moment there, I thought I was going to say something offensive. Is that a statue of Nicolades outside, by the way? Because it's like 20 feet tall. I'm just saying. Let's stay away from the edge, like I can't see me. What's over there? 
bars. And what's over there? More bars. What? I could see how that could be wine red. Maybe it was a lighting thing. Oh. Jeez, you really expect me to do this? Oh! If I had let go there, I would have landed directly on top of a man. And in some games, I know, that would have knocked him the fuck out. You know, like a 200-pound dude landing on top of him. It worked. I totally... I, I, if I quick-saved there, because I totally thought I was uh, just going to bump him and he was going to shoot me. I'll just uh, throw him awesome in the corner here, because I can't get any cleverer than that. At least it's pretty dark over here, and you have to come out of your way to see it. Thanks, buddy. I did not mean to Goomba stomp you. That guy has not turned around once since I got here, so naturally the, the correct choice of action is to shoot out the lights and make him alert. But I can use that computer. I don't know if I will get anything out of it, but... oh. Well, it worked once by accident. Oh. For the moment, I'm just going to leave that guy there, because that guy is still conscious. I hope Al Gaston wasn't a colonel. Strange looking chairs. Oh. Have you heard the. I can't even keep a fucking straight face. Have you heard the words of our Lord and Savior, Mr. Scratch? Let me tell you about the cult of the word. Okay, it's impressively dark back here. What am I, wait, why is it impressively dark right here? There's a fucking light right there. Well, whatever, man. <coughs> I'll just go stash him with the other one. It's a few years before Dishonored will come up with the technology to make the bodies actually lie on top of each other. I suppose they're just clipping through each other. Oh, there's the timer. Called it! You've got an incoming colonel, Fisher. Make the most of him. You'll need him conscious hey, and cooperative I'm in here. if you want to unlock the retinal scanner sealing the door to the courtyard. That's detailed intelligence. Knowing everything is my job. No idea where he is. Must be above me. I guess I just a uh, accidentally deactivated the uh, the security grid. Actually, I might load. So I have realized. Oh, there's the eye scanner. Hey, there's that. So at least I got that going for me. Oh, he's coming down. He did hear me walking. He's got his gun out. Fucking A, man. I just sped up a little. <laughs> Clipped him right through the chair. Nice beard. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell when uh, Sam and our new best friend here get to open the door. I bet he can't wait. Till then, have yourselves a great day. See you then, Burning Dog fans.